Hi, my name is Samson Samson. I'm a sixth dan. I'm the founder of JFA UK, uh, Judo for All United Kingdom, and I represent the World Judo Federation. And today we're going to be showing you uh, hip throwing techniques. The first technique we're going to do is called the Surikomi Goshi, resisting hip throw. This is very similar to Ogoshi. Instead of pulling the hand around the back, we keep hold of the lapel and we apply our shoulder to come under the shoulder and that is used to control Uki, break his balance and create the throw. One more time. That is Suri Komigoshi resisting hip throw. Another throw we're going to do is called Soda Suri Komigoshi. It's called resisting hip throw and this requires of tacking on the opposite side by keeping hold of your opponent's left lapel. Very similar but it's done in the opposite direction by keeping hold of both lapels. The third hip technique we're going to do is uh, where your opponent attacks you and you do what we call a counter technique. And this is Oshiro Goshi, which is called floating hip throw. As your opponent attacks you, you absorb his movement by bending your body forward and absorbing the technique like a sponge. As he comes in, you absorb the technique and then as he comes out, you follow his movement, lift him up and then basically bring him down. Another very similar technique is called uh, Uturi Goshi. A bit more complex, a bit more technical, but there's a lot of hip technique uh, that's involved in this technique. Again, Uki will attack me, very similar throw. He's attacking with a, a hip technique again. It's called Haragoshi, sweeping hip. And I will do the changing hip as it's uh, called. One more time. <laughs> One more time. A very difficult technique requires a lot of skill and agility. And that is how you do judo hip techniques in judo.